This video will explain how to connect an OTDR to a fibre optic installation, run a test and save a result. We will use an Optronics multimode and single mode OTDR, a launch lead and a cleaning kit to ensure all the connectors are free from dirt. The OTDR bag has room for the power supply, launch lead and other accessories. Remove the OTDR from the bag and set it on its stand to one side. Remove the bag. Take the launch lead from its protective pouch. Check the fibre type matches the fibre that will be tested. Next, we prepare the simulation box that we will use for testing. It contains a length of spliced fibre to mimic an installed fibre optic network. Opening the Optronics cleaning kit reveals all the items required to ensure the fibre optic installation is kept as clean as possible. We will use the 2.5mm buds, lint free wipes and connector cleaning fluid. Remove the plastic covering from the lint free wipes and take a few sheets to create a pile which we will use with the cleaning fluid and a pile which we will leave dry. Remove two of the two and a half mil buds. Again, one will be used wet, the other will be used dry. Take the lid from the cleaning fluid container and attach the extension tube to the cap. Pump the cap to spray the fluid onto one of the buds. Insert the bud into the multimode OTDR port, twisting two or three times to help loosen the dirt. Repeat this process with the dry bud to ensure the port is completely clean and free of dirt. Next, spray some cleaning fluid onto one of the piles of lint-free cloths. Take one connector from the launch lead, remove the protective cap and wipe through the moist tissue two or three times to remove any dirt. Repeat this process on the dry pile and then connect to the multimode port of the OTDR. Prepare the adapter for connecting the launch lead to the simulation box. With the other connector from the launch lead, we repeat the cleaning process. When completed, place into the adapter. As around 80% of all fiber problems are caused by dirt, this is a very important process that must not be missed. The last connector we clean is that of the simulation box, placing into the other end of the adapter, joining it to the launch lead. We are now ready to test 